Let me slice my heart into ice cubes and give them to you to dissolve one by one. Maybe if I hand it over a little at a time, you'll be able to under make sense of it. I haven't been able to. The short answer is that I don't want to tell you I love you. I want you to pick it up a little at a time so you can get a basic idea of how I feel, but I don't actually have to tell you, you know, with words. <laughs> I send you hints on Instagram. I make up horrible puns. I try to ask you out, but I sink into a chickenish terror and change the word go with the word hang because it's less scary. You want to hang out? <laughs> But what you don't know is the rest of the uncut ice cubes. How, whenever I try to write anything, you always pop up as one of the characters, and I nearly toss the whole thing because the words are so dear to me that they hurt. How when we go over the early 1800s in history class, I can relate to John Quincy Adams because he used to wake up at four in the morning to write, and I find myself in the hours of the unborn day plagued by poetry. It threatens to fly away if I don't write it down, so I ignore the little voice in my head screaming that I have classes tomorrow and homework to do, and I put down the stupid little line about slicing my heart into bite-sized cubes. I put down how adorable you are with your new glasses and your perfect front teeth like a calico Harry Potter or a sexy chipmunk, but it's still entirely undeniably you, and I put down how you played the ukulele as we all sat on the futon in Ruby's basement, singing macabre improv couplets in your whistling voice, and I put down how eloquently you debate Shakespearean comedy, and I put down everything I'll probably never have the guts to tell you, or at least not all at once. But these ice cubes are so uncomfortable that I need to pull them out but like teeth. I put down how I want to ask you to prom, even if it makes my grandparents disown me, worst case scenario, of course, I hope. But because you're the first time I had ever had a crush on a girl, or at least the first time I had so much of a crush on a girl that I couldn't ignore it, couldn't keep my mouth shut and my eyes fixed on the ground, couldn't say, no, I'm straight, no, I'm straight, no, I'm straight, couldn't push it to a spider webby corner of my mind like an unwanted thing, like an unattainable daydream. It demanded to be seen, demanded to be heard, and I start to put things together, like that time I told that guy you would be a pretty girl and then flirted with him for the rest of the summer. <laughs> like how I like the idea of boys, but uh, like my, how my eyes kept wandering in pre-algebra class because my tutor was so well endowed that I really noticed the BRA in algebra. You don't have to go out with me. As much as I like you, I'd rather keep being friends than not, and you didn't ask to be my muse. You didn't ask to be the reason I wake up smiling instead of watering my pillow, or the reason I skip down the sidewalk. You don't have to go out with me. I'll respect your feelings and your decisions because they belong to you and I have no say in them. You don't have to go out with me because, but just let me thank you for existing, for being the reason I can't hide from myself anymore. You don't have to go out with me and that's okay. I get it. Honestly, I wouldn't go out with me either.